in the refrigerator. The door is closed, the lights are out, the eggs are cooling, the butter getting hard, and the jello jiggle. What's up, guys? Welcome to In the Fridge, brought to you by Suitcase TV. I'm your host, Cody. So today we got Nick the Quick Van Exo. Okay, Nick the Quick was one of my all-time favorite Lakers. He was clutch. Gets it to Van Exo. He makes a wish. Oh! Yep, and it's saved. Three seconds left. Here's Van Exel. This is for the win. He got it. Throw ahead to Van Exel. He'll cut it loose. Watch out. He played with fire and passion. He was an all-star, he had good mid-range game, he had really big hands for a point guard, which allowed him to like pass the ball at the last second, things like that. I also think he's one of the first players to cut the little slashes in his eyebrow. I remember when I was a kid, I started cutting them little slashes on this one right here. I'd cut the little slashes in my eyebrow, and my parents look at me like I was crazy. but. I got that from Nick. I think he was the first one to do it. At least that's what I seen on TV. <laughs> now, Nick actually had like one of the hardest lives growing up as a kid. Like some people have like these hard sob stories. Like he really had it hard. So like growing up, like his dad, like they would go play basketball together and his dad after the games would like go steal like car radios and things like that. Knowing everybody was in the gym, he would ride around and go into people's cars and, and snatch out their stereos and things like that. And I was riding in the car with him. And so that was kind of his dad, like in and out of prison, in and out of his life, never really showing up. Like his mom got shot. And said my mom had been shot. So I'm thinking it's a joke or whatever, you know, not my mom. I want, I want somebody to shoot my mom. They didn't tell me how serious it was. They were saying she had been shot. He had to sleep in the gym and things like that. Went to school all summer to qualify for a basketball scholarship. Making ends meet by sleeping in the gym. So like he had it really hard growing up. And so he always played with like a chip on his shoulder. Um, they had these arguments with Dale Harris, and I know Jerry West didn't really like him. He should have felt bitter, but as bitter as he was, I was bitter too, because it should have never gotten to that point. I had always wanted Nick to like me. I just never figured out how to get it done. And you know, he, he always played with that chip on his shoulder, and, and eventually it boiled up, and I think he became the first uh, player to ever push a referee. Nick Van Exel won't play for the rest of the regular season. That's his punishment for shoving referee Ron Garrison in last night's game at Denver. Van Exel has been suspended for seven games. I think he got fined $187,000 for that. I mean, that's a good, good lot of money right there. But uh, he was the first one to bring swag to Showtime Lakers. Before Swag UP, before whoever, like, uh, Nick Van Exel was the first one. A lot of antics I, I would do as far as, you know, the boxing, uh, the, the little dances, just creating the vibe that L.A. was used to. Now, Nick was there when Kobe was a rookie, right? So Nick actually accredited himself to showing Kobe the ropes along the way. You had a great career. It was, it was great playing with you for two years. I taught you everything you know, man. So uh, just good luck to you, man, in, in, in the next phase of your life, man. God bless you. Now, even though Nick Van Exel got traded to a bunch of other teams later on, to me, he's still an all-time Los Angeles Laker. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit a comment down below. Uh, let me know who you guys want to see next. And that's it. It's in the fridge. Lights are out. The A's are cool. Butter's getting hard. And soup kitchen's cooking. We out. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Van Exel, that's about as good an interview as you'll ever hear out of Nicky, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Please. On the Lakers Basketball Network.